WMBG. We are Williamsburg's radio station. How's it going, everybody? Ty Hodges here. It is Thursday. It is 3.15, which means it is time for the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. Shout out to Retro Daddio. Thank you for making all of this possible. I am thrilled today to have basically a Hampton Road superstar in studio with us today. We have Brian Carmona from the C- Brian Carmona Band. He is in studio with us today. Welcome in. Hey, how you guys doing? And thank you for having me. Doing wonderful. It's a pleasure to have you in. Absolutely. So again, like I was saying, we have Hampton Roads royalty basically here in our oh studios. <laughs> um, Brian Carmona, one of the hottest musicians right now in, in Hampton Roads, and he has an interesting story. Um, so tell us a little bit about how you got started in music. I was born into it. Uh, my God, my mom, professional singer, uh, jazz, Latin jazz, and my uncle's all... Latin percussionists and classical trained musicians, uh, you know, and grew up with around a lot of the great Latin and salsa musicians from Puerto Rico, Colombia, Central South America, uh, including uh, around a lot uh, Carlos Santana, Mongo Santa Maria, and. And at the time, to me, they were just guys, you know. They were, if I would have known back then what I know now, I would have <laughs> said, wow, you know. I would ask more questions. I would have actually paid more attention to it. But my thing was always, it's always been blues, rock, southern rock, classic rock. It's always been that little fusion. And, of course, you could always hear the Latin in my music. <laughs> now, before you were an awesome musician, um, it seemed like you were destined to become an awesome chef as well. That was uh, that was kind of your first profession. That was uh, a way of life for my family. That's what we, we do. We, we own several restaurants, um, catering companies. And uh, my mom's also a chef and all my uncles and grandmas and everybody's in the chefing business the music music and and food is our thing and so how did you uh make the transition because you were telling me off air before we got started here that um you were you were kind of on the original food network so to speak some of those original cooking shows a little actually bit. before it actually really started it was uh, uh i remember emerald being Bam. Yeah. <laughs> and he was bamming at the time. He, and uh, I remember young Bobby Flay, you know. But the, 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 the original guys at that time, there was only about three cook shows. Uh, um, and um, uh, I was invited because I won a couple of competitions locally. And and um, one of the pioneers also of, of ice carving back in the days and um, it was quite an experience, though. And so I, I had the opportunity. But music was more my thing. And so what was that process like? Because you told me you started really playing guitar seriously around the age of 20. What what really inspired you to be like, you know what, I'm going to move forward with this music thing? <laughs> it was my calling. I knew that... Um, the restaurant business is a very tough is is you know you leave a lot of the best years of your life in in, in a restaurant and i saw my mom struggling a lot and she for a single mom you know she she did great um and um so i had no choice you know i had, I had to do what i had to do that was our job that was our, our future and the way i was raised you know you you do what you have to do as a family and uh but I knew once the restaurants were pretty much working on its own that we didn't, I didn't have to be there. Uh, I moved to Florida. I needed to get away from New York. New York was a little bit too hectic for me at the time. <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> Still is from what I hear. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, well, it's not as it's wild, but it's not as crazy as it was back in the days. Yeah, you know, late seventies, early eighties. That was pretty crazy times, a, a lot of craziness, and um, I did indulge in some of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so I figured Florida would be better, and um, I took some time off, and I started studying, and and it didn't take me that long to start my own career, my own band, and working with other artists. I had the great opportunity to work with Big Mama Blue and Joey Gilmore, 
musicians, uh, great musicians like Motel Mel. And these are like great l local heroes from Florida. And um, and Captain Reese and Jimmy Fiano, one of my my mentor and one of my best friends, uh, probably one of the most amazing guitarists that I met. I had a lady friend that taught me about singing because I <laughs> wanted to sing too. And um, and so that's kind of like it. It got. I just kept doing it, and before you know it, you know I'm touring. I'm, and you've you've picked up musical influences from all over the place. Your sound definitely has it in the CD. This is me, um, which you were gracious enough to bring us a copy of. You say every song on there has just a little bit of a different flavor to it. Well, you know, I was labeled uh, back in, in in November 2012. I was inducted in the Blues Hall of Fame, and uh, immediately uh, you're labeled as a blues musician. And uh, I'm like, okay, I could understand that. And, you know, I, and it's great. It, it was a great title or a great label. But it wasn't opening certain doors. So I stopped playing blues. Right after I got inducted, I stopped playing blues. And I'm just going to play rock and little hard rock and classic and southern and, and a little R&B. And, and I'll, you know, occasionally... The blues that I stuck with, it was more in the style of Johnny Winter, uh, Hendrix, Stevie Ray. Not copying them or, you know, but kind of in the same flavor and the same color, I would say. Here with Brian Carmona of the Brian Carmona Band here on WMEG, the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. I know the audience is anxiously awaiting to hear you play, so we're going to go to one commercial break real quick. And when we return, Brian Carmona will perform for us live in studio here on the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Retro Daddio. WMBG, we are back here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. Back with Brian Carmona of the Brian Carmona Band, and he is about ready to perform for us. So, Brian, what songs are you going to be playing for us today? I'm going to do what you want. It's uh, it's got a little, it's kind of a rock Latin feel. Okay. And so, well, it goes like this. <laughs> Tell me, darling, tell me what you want. Every time I see you, girl, I want to have some fun. Tell me, baby, tell me what you see. Every time I see you, girl, Get weak on the knee. I said, Tell me what you really want. Every time I want you, tell me what you really need. Cause you know I'm trying, babe. I say, Yeah, yeah. I say, Yeah, yeah. Mamacita, tú eres muy bonita. Every time I see you, girl, you know you rock my world. I said, tell me what you want, tell me what you need. I get down, baby, on my knee. If you want to play, if you want to love. I'm gonna love you, babe, a little. I say, yeah. You really wanna know? I say, yeah, yeah. You really wanna know? I said, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I get down, baby, on my knee. If you wanna play, if you wanna love, 
I'm gonna love you, baby, a little more. Sit and tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I get down, baby, on my knee. If you wanna play, if you wanna love, I'm gonna love you, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Briar Carmona here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. Yeah, you know, I think I think you've lived up to all the hype. You're definitely incredibly talented. You are wonderful live, just as you are um, after you've been in the studio. And so I know the the audience they're excited to hear some more for you. You have some something else for us? Oh yeah, I do. Uh, um. Let's see the. This song, um, they're all personal experiences, um, is things that I've been through in the last few years. You know, we've all been through some hard times, and, you know, we learn. And I've always been a survivor. I'm just one of those guys that I refuse to go down. I refuse to give up. And uh, But there comes a time where sometimes you need somebody to come out and, you know, extend their hand and and um, pull you out <laughs> and help you out and uh, I wrote this song for her and and for us and I have to say that thanks to her I'm here <sighs> If you wonder where I've been, how I am, I tell you I'm doing okay, but that's a lie, just another day. If you wonder if I'm cold, if I'm hurt, I tell you I'm doing okay, but that's a lie, just another day goes by and I'm dying. Life is in his getaway. It makes me wonder why. It makes me realize I cannot survive without your love, without your touch. I don't want to live no more without your kiss, without your lips forever. If you wonder where I've been, how I am, I tell you I'm doing fine, but that's a lie, just another day. If you wonder if I'm cold, if I'm hurt, I tell you I'm doing okay, but that's a lie, just another day goes by and I'm dying. My life's slipping away from me. It makes me wonder why it makes me realize I cannot survive Without your love, without your touch I don't want to live no more Without your kiss, without your lips Forever Makes me wonder why Makes me realize I cannot survive 
Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Carmona here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Retro Daddio. It has been an absolute pleasure having you in studio today. If the people want to find more about you or your band, how can they do that? Hey, they could find me on my web uh, website, which is BrianCarmona.com, or on Reber Nation, Brian Carmona Band or on Facebook. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody has a Facebook <laughs> by now. Brian Carmona, a uh, band on Facebook. And um, yeah, schedules. And and if you want to purchase a CD, there's a link for it too. <laughs> and uh, you actually have a show, a uh, couple shows coming up uh, over the next couple of days here in Williamsburg. Yes, I, I love playing in Williamsburg. Uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, we'll be here at Plaza Azteca, which is right down the corner from here. I will be there from 7 to 10. Come on out. Um, you know, have a, a dinner and a show is kind of what I call it. Um, and tomorrow I will be at Barrett's Seafood Restaurant and Grill and Tap House. Um, great place to be at as well. I'll be there from 7 to 10 as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, go to go to his shows, buy his CDs, and moreover, just keep supporting this guy because he is he is truly one of the better ones in Hampton Roads, and we are so thankful for his time here on our show today. So, thank you so much for joining us, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, thank you, thank you dearly. Hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much for listening to the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. Next week, we will have another great performance, as we always do. This is going to be a tough act to follow, but I'm sure our act will do their best.